The inspector general for the intelligence community gave a deposition behind closed doors as House Democrats look to gather testimony from key witnesses. ABC's Kira Phillips has more for us. Good morning to you, Kira. Good morning, Eva. Well, as the president resists Democratic attempts to produce documents and administration witnesses for this impeachment inquiry, the clash between the two branches of government intensifies. For seven long hours, the inspector general of the intel community, Michael Atkinson, testified behind closed doors on Capitol Hill. It was Atkinson that deemed the whistleblower complaint at the center of the impeachment inquiry an urgent concern. Democratic lawmakers seemed pleased with the inspector general's testimony. But for um, his reporting this to Congress, the efforts of the White House and the Justice Department uh, to cover it up uh, might have been successful. Meanwhile, Republicans took aim at the chairman of the committee, Representative Adam Schiff. Chairman Schiff should be disqualified from running an investigation where his committee, members or staff, are fact witnesses about contact with the whistleblower and the whistleblower process. Democrats, though, are undeterred, now pursuing a new target in the Trump-Ukraine drama, Vice President Mike Pence. The committees leading the impeachment probe sent a letter Friday requesting a laundry list of documents and communications to determine Pence's knowledge of Trump asking Ukraine to investigate 2020 rival Joe Biden. The committee's also asking for requests, suggestions, proposals, or other communications surrounding the president's decision to not send his vice president to Zelensky's inauguration in May. Now, Pence's office is rejecting this demand, dismissing it as, quote, a do-nothing Democrats move, slamming the party for trying to call attention to what Pence's office termed a partisan impeachment. Dan? Kira, thank you so much. Kira Phillips on Capitol Hill for this this morning. So much to talk about here. So let's bring in our ringer, ABC News chief political analyst, Matthew Dowd. Matt, great to have you on set great on, a, on a Saturday did, did morning. Did you add this extra hour just because of what's yes, going on? Yes, exactly. We, want, <laughs> we know we want to give you room to breathe. Uh, so let, let's talk about, let's go back to this New York Times report that there may be a second whistleblower about to come forward. To you, what's the significance of this? I think every time there's a new witness to what happened, a new witness to said what the president said he did, that they say he also did in this, raises the odds that the president is going to get impeached. I don't think right now it raises the odds he's going to would get convicted in the Senate. But I think if today, if you looked at the House of Representatives today, and if a new whistleblower appears and does confirm what happened, the president will get impeached in the House if that happens. Because the Republicans have been trying to discredit the original whistleblower. If there are then two, it's harder to maybe discredit both of them at the same time. Let me talk about Joe Biden. We saw uh, in David Wright's piece that he's making his most extensive comments uh, since this story broke. How's he doing in the light of this story? And is this likely to help or hinder him? I, I think he was he was uh, he was having difficulty in this campaign process because of the energy that Elizabeth Warren had created. I think this gives him a moment that can only help him. He basically is becomes the opponent to Donald Trump in the midst of this conversation. And all the Democrats seem now to defending him in this process. It has has to help him in this. I don't think it'll fundamentally change the nature of the race, which puts him in a position of running against Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and others. But it's got to help when he pivots one on one against Donald Trump. And let's finally talk about the Republicans. We've seen a few come out to criticize the president, Mitt Romney, Ben Sass. Do you expect others will break or is there going to be a red wall here? Well, I, until there's more U.S. Republican senators than whistleblowers coming out, it's going to be difficult for the Democrats to get this done. I think it all depends on the facts that emerge. And does it confirm in a distinct way that there was a quid pro quo of this new whistleblower? I think you could see a number of senators. I have a serious doubt if it will ever get up to 20 Republican senators going against the president. And that's what's needed to convict and, him in the Senate and th remove him from office. That's what's needed to convict him. But there is, if you get three or four Republicans, they can and change the rules and how the process happens in the United States Senate. Matthew Dowd, always a pleasure to have you on a Saturday morning. Really Great appreciate it. Congrats to you all on the extra hour. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.